Howdy, howdy, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to give y'all a tutorial on how to customize your VTuber model. So you can have different toggles like this to this. Okay, I'll show you how I customize my VTuber model. But first, first, okay. Okay, let's see. <gasps> Okay, y'all, so first you're going to want to find the model. So, with me, I usually just go on Etsy. Okay? You'll see here. <laughs> okay. And you just go to the search bar and just look up pre-made pre VTuber model. Okay? And you're going to have a bunch of really good ones to start off with. Especially, like, these at the top here. And also, this one right here just came out super freaking adorable, right? But we're going to do uh, Miku T. She has some chibi models, but she also has like a bunch of other, other models. But you see, they're affordable. And this was really good too, guys. Yeah? Okay. So, like, there's a bunch of really good ones to start off with with just one quick search on Etsy. Okay? So, say you picked Miku T's chibi model. Okay? That's, that's, that's this model right here. So, you want to go into VTube Studio. Okay, guys, so once you get a model and you download it, you're going to want to put those files into, like, the VTube Studios, like, actual, like, uh, folder. So, you go up to, like, this, and you're going to import your own model right here. And it will literally open the file location right here, and then you put your model into here. And then you'll probably, uh, okay, so then you'll put your, uh, your your model in here and you'll probably have to reopen vtube studio and then once you reopen it your model should be under right here okay and it's right here and you'll click it okay so this is like the base the base model that you get okay super cute right super adorable <laughs> oh but we could customize her okay so you go you click settings here Okay. Okay, and these are your expression editor. This is where all of your little expressions are, okay? It even tells you the numpad for them. Okay? And you can customize those if you want to. So you just hit the key. And there they are. But you can customize them if you want to. You just click this. And you can literally change them right here. But that's up to you. I usually just keep it as is. But we'll be messing with this stuff uh more later though. Because I actually do have like a bunch of little toggles. So we'll go through this later. <laughs> so you go to expression editor. And then you're going to want to uh, create new expression. Okay. Now, this opens up the customization options that are available for the model that you just got, okay? See? Oh, I got a little boba tea. Um, and then you got the key cat. But usually, like, you can go through here and there's going to be, like, options for, like, the ear shape. The There's most models. Most customizable models have some, like, little, uh, ears and glasses and stuff, you know? And like little horns, stuff like that, you know. We got little hair accessories here, super cute. So, yeah, you just can go through here. Also, you can add the name here for uh, you can add the name right here to keep it organized, by the way. Don't forget to name it, okay, guys. <laughs> And then most models, you can customize the eye shape. But you need to go through the description before you decide on a model. And they usually have little uh, YouTube videos to show like all of the different features. Yeah. So yeah, you just go through here. And you also need to make sure if they got skin tones available, too, before you get a model. That's important. Oh, they got little eyebrow types, too. Cute, right? Oh, you can change the eye color. 
I have this, I actually have my eye already customized. I'll show you how I did that for the odd eyes. So my odd eye right here is not going to change because I edited the, uh, I'll show you guys how I did that. But see, there's different eye colors too. <laughs> actually, okay. And different hair color. Adorable, right? Oh, I can't really see, um, oh, is that in different things? <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry, partner. I got, like, hair length and stuff, too. But, yeah, like, you could literally just go through here, customize your character. There's gonna be, like, a lot of stuff to go through, guys, okay? And then, um, a lot of models have, like, little, uh, different little outfits that you could, ch that you could do. You know, super cute, right? And then, um, at the very bottom is usually stuff that you don't want to mess with. So you just leave this stuff down here alone. They usually have like a little warning on their models. Um, but yeah, after you're done customizing real quick, okay, press save. Okay. And then let's go to save in here. Of course, you know, I got my other ones I've already done, okay? And then you're gonna go over here and you're going to create a toggle for the expression that you just made. So you can go down and hit this, okay? And then you do hotkey, set expression, and then you hit, you hit expression here. And then you go down and find the one that you just made. You named it. Okay. And then you can pick the key that you want. And go through here and pick the key that you want for your toggle. Now, uh, I'm just going to pick numpad 7. Oh, wait. I forget. What's on numpad 7 already? I have no idea. <laughs> But it worked though. The little toggle worked. Now, let me show you guys how I, um, and you can make multiple toggles. You could literally redo what I just did and make different little outfits and different little looks for your a model and just set the toggle here. And then you'll be able to change it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let me go back to this one. So let me show you guys how I um, change the color. Now you need to make sure that you're even allowed to do this, okay? But it's customize model right here. And then you go to customize and multiply screen color for the art meshes. And it will take a while to load. Some models will take a really ta long time to load depending on like how much is on the model. Now, if you want to try to, like, figure out, like, what you're going for exactly, you could just kind of, like, you could literally just, like, hover over. But if you have a model that want, that you need to, like, okay, say you want to, uh, put, like, a, a highlight in your hair or something, like this part right here. So you'll click on it, and it will pop up this, and then you can go through here and hit this little thing here to see which one it is. See, it's this one right here. So you turn that, and then you can customize the color. Yeah? Then you just hit OK, and there, you've got a highlight in your hair now. And if you don't want it, you could just go back in and turn it on and off. Well, now it's just great, but... <laughs> but that's basically what I did for the eyes. But I had to, like, hover over and change. See, it was this. That's how I did it for the odd eyes. So you could do the same thing. Mm-hmm. But that's how I uh, customized some of the colors. And that's how I also changed the color for um, the socks, too. But, yeah, that's how I customized my model, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I hope you guys uh, could customize your models, okay? 
I'll make them super adorable. This is like my first tutorial video or of of the. This was like my first tutorial video on something like this, and I hope that it made sense. And, um, 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 I'm sorry if I did, but at least like I kind of like show I showed you where to go on the VTube Studio, okay? <laughs> if you have any questions, you can comment. I'll see if I can help, okay? Alright, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, YouTube.